You've gone too far. The View hosts are weighing in on Jason Aldean's controversial new song, Try That in a Small Town. On Thursday, Whoopi Goldberg, Sarah Haynes, Joy Behar, Sonny Hostin, and Alyssa Farah Griffin discussed the backlash surrounding the polarizing track and its music video. There's a lot wrong here with this. This is a man who saw what happens when someone is out of control right. with their guns. Yeah. He's he someone who was, he was, he was out in, in Vegas and he was he saw people get so I don't understand how he could be that disconnected, how people around him didn't say to him, hey, listen, you know what? Maybe there's a better way to do this. While Sarah and Joy focused on the tune's lyrics related to small towns and big cities, Alyssa said she was going to give the country star the benefit of the doubt. This was, to me, something where about half the people in my life see it one way and half the people in my life see it a different way. So I'm trying to, like, kind of see what are we disconnecting on. I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt that his intent wasn't to, you know, stoke division, glorify violence or racism. I'm going to give him that benefit of the doubt, I don't know. But I'll say this, there was a line, so for the many folks who are offended by this, there's a line in it that says, try that in a small town, see how far you make it down the road. Around here, we take care of our own. So for a lot of my friends and family who are legal gun owners in small communities, they're like, yeah, that's what we do if someone breaks into a story. He's talking about the right to defend yourself. What I thought of when I read that, read that was a Maude Arbery. I think of a black man in a small town in the South who literally just got shot for doing nothing wrong. So I think what becomes problematic is that there's a, rec there's a lack of recognition of what this means to about 50% of the country whose experience isn't Jason Aldean's. But Sonny didn't agree. I'm actually not going to give him the benefit of the doubt. And I'm pleased that you are, and well, I'm you, pleased you, that you, you are. You do agree that he should be allowed to say I, whatever he because wants. Because as a lawyer, when I put my legal hat on, yeah, okay. I don't believe in censorship. Right. However, this man is from Macon, Georgia. My father's from Augusta, Georgia, and Macon, Georgia. I both? spent many summers there. Yeah, both. I spent many summers mm -hmm. there. It is one of the most racist places in this country. Mm -hmm. So don't tell me that? that he knew nothing I'm about not, what that imagery meant say he didn't and know what he. Uh, so I don't give him the benefit. But I'm saying, I don't along him with him, more doubt. people should the also other, be the other held thing accountable. Is, Try that in a small town's lyrics include quote, "Got a gun that my granddad gave me. They say one day they're gonna round up." Well, that might fly in the city, good luck. Try that in a small town. See how far you make it down the road. You cross that line, it won't take long for you to find out. I recommend you don't. Try that in a small town. The music video features videos of looting, protests, and images of burning the American flag. Jason took to Instagram to respond to the backlash earlier this week, saying that the intention of the song was to refer to the feeling of community and people taking care of their neighbors, quote, regardless of differences of background or beliefs. In the past 24 hours, I have been accused of releasing a pro-lynching song, a song that has been out since May, and was subject to the comparison that I, direct quote, was not too pleased with the nationwide BLM protests. These references are not only meritless, but dangerous. There is not a single lyric in the song that references race or points to it. And there is not a single video clip that isn't real news footage. And while I can try and respect others to have their own interpretation of a song with music, this one goes too far, he wrote. Adding, as many pointed out, I was present at Route 91, where so many lost their lives. And our community recently suffered another heartbreaking tragedy. No one, including me, wants to continue to see senseless headlines or families ripped apart.